Something well worth waiting for now on BBC One. Postponed earlier in the year, giving you sound, darling, the Pippa Holloway story. To find out more about the legendary director, press red and go interactive with BBC I. Well, I'm very sorry. We seem to be having a few problems here on BBC One. <coughs> Well, in fact, I'm just being told that due to legal reasons, we're unable to bring you the Pippa Holloway story. But instead, to look ahead to sunnier days on holiday. Hello and welcome to Holiday 2004. This week, we come to you from, well, to be honest... We haven't bothered going anywhere because we don't really like those beaches and that sand that just gets everywhere. And those cities, they're just so busy, aren't they? Now, we've decided to give you a very special tour of BBC Television Centre. What a stunning place that is. And ask that question, why would anyone in their right mind want to leave it? Today's programme is a special for one of our regular viewers, Rachel Robertson, who's off to Australia very soon, leaving behind the smoke and grime of London. London town, yes. Think of some of the things you're going to miss about London, Rachel, because we're going to show you some of them in the next half hour. Well, it'll probably feel like longer. And actually, to start the programme, here are some memories from somebody else you know pretty well. What are you going to miss about being here? Um, it'll come to me. George? Hi. Hello, George. It's Sasha. Hello. Yes, I haven't spoken to you for ages. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Yeah, ITV. Yeah, 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 fine. Uh, li listen, listen. Um, uh, Rachel. Rachel, she's going, isn't she? Well, no, I know I'm not Scottish, but I was thinking I could just say, um, wee while? No. I'm sure when you're relaxing on Bondi Beach, Rachel, in 100 degrees and beautiful sunshine, you won't miss the cold, miserable, wet weather that we always get in London. <laughs> you're constantly going around with an umbrella. You're soaked through. One way, though, to make sure you don't, of course, get soaked through is do what I do. I leave the car at home. I always get myself a travel card and hop on a bus. Oh, I think this one is just going. I better leave it. George. Hello, George. It's, it's Sasha again. I'm still practicing my Scottish accent. Hello? Oh, hello. Hi, Rach. You've just caught me on a late one. Uh, uh, this is the life, and you're about to give it up. But for something much better. It's been lovely working with you. I can't believe this is the second time you're going. Thank you very much. Oh, you see... <laughs> The other thing is, there's never any time to do anything in London, is there? I think I'm going to have to go underground now. I'm going to have to get out of this. Oxford Street, just before Christmas, it's just too much to take, isn't it? Hi, hi, is that Sarah? Sarah Fairburn. Hello, hi, it's Sasha here. Um, I, I used to work for you. I'm really smiley. Yes, yeah, smiley, smiley like, like Rachel Robertson. And uh, I was thinking that maybe there's, there's a gap now on BBC One for a Scottish voice. Uh, hello? We we while hello. Got it. Can you say? Okay, just if you just move it in. Oh, I'm gonna miss it, you know. She's irreplaceable, really. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, to be on BBC One, you've got to what look like Rachel. You've got to be Scottish for a start. Yeah, you've got to sound like Rachel. Right, and female announcers aren't Scottish and beautiful. You've got to be glamorous, haven't you? Yeah, we look at Steph. What they need is somebody who sounds like Rachel, looks like Rachel, writes like Rachel, and smiles like Rachel! <laughs> <laughs> you going to go for it? No. no. Not me. No. No, you have to pay me a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I wouldn't want it. No, I don't want it. Yeah. You're on the late two? Yeah, no, yeah. On oh, day two. You're not going to go? No, not so we're not going to go for it. No, not even if I
I think so. Not for an audition. Not for an audition. Smiley, smiley, Rachel. Show on Connery, George, Shaw, or Easily the best late one for us, you are the new Peter Brook, you're marvellous. Marvellous. Mind if we join you? Gives you one house's own leader? You stay. Okay. Excuse me. We might need those. Hmm. Not if I have my way, you won't. <laughs> I call you such a twining as I see me. Now on BBC One, the wee cat at the animal hospital. Right, whenever you're ready for your audition, from the top, please. Good evening and welcome to BBC One. A poor wee cat with a sore head checks into animal hospital. And BBC One will be there in 45 minutes. Oh, no, Miss Wright. I don't think so. Right, next then, Miss Gentry, whenever you're ready, please, from the top. A poor wee cat with a sore head checks into the animal hospital. That's in a wee while here on BBC One. Miss Gentry, are you being serious? We've got someone far better for BBC One than that. They're singing for survival in half an hour on BBC One. But who will you vote for? It's Pop Idol. Uh, you decide. Oh, it's not Pop Idol. Well, what's that one again? Uh, that Fame Academy, that's it. See, nothing to it. 